This is lesson 31 graphing piecewise functions. Our first problem, evaluate the function for the given f of x equals 3x minus 7 for x values that are less than or equal to 2 and f of x equals 6 minus 2x for x values that are greater than 2. So our first problem, f of 0, 0 is less than or equal to 2, so we go with the top function. So we're going to substitute in a 0 for x, 3 times 0 minus 7, 3 times 0 is 0, minus 7 makes negative 7. So our function would be read as f of 0 equals negative 7. That's the point, 0, negative 7. g of 5. Well, 5 is greater than or equal to 5, so we'd use this bottom equation, substituting in 5 for x, so negative 5, negative 1 times 5 plus 3 makes a negative 2, so g of 5 equals negative 2, that would be the point 5, negative 2. h of 6, 6 is greater than negative 3, so we'd use this top equation, and we substitute in a 6 for x. So 2 times 6 makes 12, and 12 divided by 3 is 4, so that's 4 plus 1, which makes 5. So h of 6 is 5, that would be the point 6, 5. f of negative 3. Negative 3 is less than 2, so we'd use this top equation, so that's 3 times negative 3 minus 7. That makes negative 9 minus 7, which is a negative 16. So f of negative 3 equals negative 16. That's the point negative 3, negative 16. Graphing these step functions. And remember, the constraint tells us where we're going to be on our x-axis. So uh, this first constraint, x being less than or equal to zero, means we're to, you know, if we were to graph that, that would be a vertical line at zero, and less than that would be everything to the left. So we're going to graph this equation, f of x equals x plus three, but we only want the part of the graph that's to the left of x is less than or equal to zero. So where's our y-intercept? Our y-intercept is at three, so we'll put a point there. And then our slope is up 1 over 1, right? Up 1 over 1, up 1 over 1. But we don't want those points to the right of 0. We just want the points to the left of 0. So we're going to go down 1, left 1. Down 1, left 1, down 1, left 1. And there's our line. We have the equal symbol here with our inequality. So we're going to do a closed circle right here. That's a closed circle. I can get rid of this vertical line. That's not really part of my graph. It's just separating between being less than zero and this second constraint, which is everything greater than zero. And what's our equation? f of x equals 2x. We'll do that in a different color here. So what's our y-intercept here? There is no y-intercept, right? f of x equals 2x. That would be like plus a zero out here. So zero is our y-intercept. What kind of symbol do we have? We don't have the equal sign, so that's going to be an open circle. What's our slope? 2. So we're going up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Open circle where we started. And we don't go to the left of 0 because that's that would be our other constraint. That would be the everything less than 0. Next equation, we're talking about being at x equal to negative 1, so that's, that's right here. And we're moving this one, this top constraint says we're going to be greater than or equal to negative 1, so that would be going to the right for everything up here. And then for our bottom constraint, we're talking about being less than negative 1, so that would be everything to the left for this equation. So first, we'll do our top equation. f of x equals 2x plus 3. What's our y-intercept? Our y-intercept is at 3, so we'll put a point here at 3. 1, 2, 3. And now 2 is our slope, so we're going to go up 2 and right 1, up 2 and right 1, up 2 and right 1. 
and we could go down two and left one and look at our inequality symbol has the equal sign so we're going to do a closed circle here and now continue our graph for our bottom part of the equation negative 3x plus 1 so our y-intercept is at 1 I'm going to put a little a light dot there because we really don't want that point there. Why? Because it's to the right of negative 1. We just want values that are less than negative 1. That's on the left of negative 1. But we want that just as a reference mark so we can move our use our slope from here. So what's our slope is down 3, negative 3 over 1. So that would be down 3, right 1 right here but we still don't we don't want that point either because we're moving to the right of negative one we want to be going to the left so let's move to the left how would we move to the left we do the opposite of down three right one that's up three left one one two three left one we look at our symbol we don't have the equal sign so that's going to be an open circle open circle and now continue moving up three and left one one two three left one one two three left one draw our line. We can erase these other points, erase our vertical line, and that's our graph. The next problem we're talking about being less than or equal to 1. So that's this vertical line, and less than would be to the left here. And then our bottom equation is talking about being greater than 1 so that's everything to the right for this bottom equation so first f of x equals x minus 4 what's our y-intercept negative 4 1 2 3 4 and now how are we going to move from here our slope is 1 so that's up 1 right 1 up 1 right 1 I just am going to do that once because I want to stay to the left of this x equals 1. Uh, we look at our inequality and we've got the equal symbol so we're going to use a closed circle here at 1 and now if we continued on with this slope instead of going up 1 right 1 we go down 1 left 1 and there's our line. Our next equation f of x equals 3x for everything greater than 1. Now what's our y-intercept out here? If it doesn't say anything, there's an invisible plus 0. It's understood we're adding 0. That puts our y-intercept at 0. I'm going to put a light point here. Why am I doing that? Because we want our points for our second equation to be just x values that are greater than 1. 0 is not greater than 1, so we're going to erase that eventually. What's our slope? 3. So we're moving up 3 over 1. And because I don't have the equal sign with this inequality symbol, we want to use an open circle. So that's an open circle there. Continue moving up 3. 1, 2, 3, right 1. 1, 2, 3, right 1. And there's our equation get rid of those other lines and there's our graph our next one top equation we're talking about being less than 5 1 2 3 4 5 so a vertical line here and we're talking about being less than that so everything on the left side and our bottom equation is talking about being greater than or equal to 5 so this side's going to have the closed circle here because of the equal symbol so first one g of x equals 3x plus 2 our y-intercept is 2 1 2 and we've got a, our slope is 3 so we're going up 3 right 1 up 3, right 1, up 3, right 1, up 3, right 1, and our last point would be up 3, right 1, right here, but we don't have our equal sign, so I want to make this an open circle here. And we'll continue this out. And now our purple line, g of x equals negative 2x, what's our y-intercept again? There is nothing out here, so that's a 0. 
I'm going to do this nice and light because we're going to erase it because I just want values to the right of this line. What's our slope? Negative 2 over 1, so we're going to go down 2, right 1, down 2, right 1. I'm going to end up eventually erasing all these points. Down 2, right 1. Now at on this line, because we have the equal symbol, we're going to do a closed circle. That means that at that point, that's a solution. And now down 2, right 1 again, down 2, right 1, and continue that line. Erase all these other points. They're not actually part of our graph. And that's our, that's our graph. E. We want x values that are less than 2. Here's x equals 2. Less than that would be on the left side, which makes our bottom equation be x values greater than or equal to 2. Our top equation, f of x equals 1 half x plus 4. What's our y-intercept? 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Plot our point. What's our slope? Up 1, right 2. So we'll go up 1 and right 2. Now on this line, what kind of circle are we going to do? Open circle because we don't have the equal sign. So we open circle. We'll continue our line going to the left. And that would be... Uh, oops, sorry, I messed that up. Up 1, right 2 would be right there. So we're going to go down 1, left 2. Down 1, left 2, put a point. Down 1, left 2, put a point. Down 1, left 2 down one left two and we draw our line our next equation f of x equals negative 2x plus 9 what's our y-intercept is up at 9 right here that's a light point because I only want x values that are greater than or equal to 2 but I need to know where to start from our slope negative 2 that means down 2 right 1 again a light point because I'm going to end up erasing this down to right one again. Now I'm on that line at that same point. This is going to be a closed circle. Down to right one, down to right one, down to right one, down to right one, down to right one. Draw in our line. Erase all these other points. And that's our graph. Last one. We want x values that are greater than or equal to zero so that's the vertical line here and greater than would be to the right which makes our bottom constraint talking about x values that are less than zero to the left so we have f of x equals 2x plus 3 what's our y-intercept is at 3 1 2 3 close circle because of the equal symbol and now our slope is 2 so we go up 2 right 1 up 2 right 1 up 2 right 1 Draw our line. Next circle is our y-intercept is at 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Doesn't have the equal sign, so it's an open circle. And our slope is 1, so that's up 1, right 1. But we don't want to move to the right. We want to move to the left. So how would we move to the left? Instead of up 1, right 1, we go down 1, left 1. So down 1, left 1. That's our equation. Exam review, if f of x equals 4x plus 1 when x values are less than negative 1 and f of x equals 2x minus 3 for x values that are greater than or equal to negative 1, what is f of negative 1? So where, which constraint does that satisfy? Negative 1 is greater than or equal to negative 1 because of the equal symbol. Negative 1 is equal to negative 1. So we need to use this bottom equation. So f of negative 1 equals 2 times negative 1 minus 3. What's 2 times negative 1? Negative 2 minus 3 makes negative 5. So the value of our function at negative 1 is negative 5. That's the coordinate point, negative 1, negative 5. b, f of 1 half. Well, one half, where, wh which, where would that fit in these constraints? One half is between zero and one, so it would be this middle constraint. 
So all that is is f of x equals x. So we're going to substitute in a one half. So one f of one half equals one half. That would be c. And we're done.